His title, Peace from Anxiety Through Meaningfulness Meditation. David Wiesel. Peace from Anxiety Through Meaningfulness Meditation. Madam Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. The title, the word in the title actually is mindful, mindful meditation. And tonight, I'm going to start with a question. How many of you have ever experienced a panic attack or felt any anxiety in their life? Raise your hands. Okay, well, I'm right there with many of you. I have suffered from anxiety most of my adult life. Anxiety can really be a crippling thing. It leaves its victims feeling fearful, exhausted, and worried about another panic attack. You've probably all heard of the fight or flight response. It's something that all of us humans share. But the flight or flight response was a great thing for our ancestors. Because of that, they were able to either make a decision where they're going to stand against a predator or run away from that predator so they could live to see another day. Now in 2014, this fight or flight response is sometimes not that helpful for us. But yes, sure, we do all have our stressors, don't we? There's work, money, health problems, traffic, you name it. I mean, we could all make our own list of things. Now, lucky for me, I started working with an acupuncturist this year for my issues with anxiety. And he dubbed his program that he taught me the three famous steps. Sort of reminds me of Gil Wagner's world famous tuna salad. <laughs> But Brian's famous three steps were something that I have been able to use to develop a stillness of mind that I don't think I've ever felt before. And I feel like I would like to be able to share this gift that I've learned with you tonight and was going to ask if you would all like to participate in a short experiment of mindfulness meditation. Now the word mindful and mindfulness meditation, I'll give you a little background. Being mindful is living in the present moment. Present moment awareness is what this is all about. So in other words, you're not worried about something that might happen tomorrow or two weeks from now, or you're not spending your current time thinking about feeling guilty, something you said or did in the past. It's all about the moment that you're in. So for everyone to participate with me, I'm going to I'm going to give you some directions and ask if you'd all follow along. Everybody want to play? Yes. Good. So the first thing I'd like to ask you all to do is put down your pens and close your eyes. Put your hands gently in your laps. All right, feet flat on the ground. All right, everybody is looking good. Now step one is all about the breathing. You're going to take three breaths, and I want you to do this at your own pace. Now, when you inhale, imagine the air going into your stomach, your stomach filling up like a balloon. And there's equal pressure on the front, back, and both sides of your stomach, all at the same time. Once you've taken these three breaths, and the inhales and exhales want to be about the same period of time. We're going to move into step two. Step two is where I'm going to ask you to scan your body. And what you want to be thinking about is looking for any sense of disruption or discomfort. For me, I always notice it on the tops of my hands, the tops of my arms, my legs, and sometimes around my trunk. It's almost like a buzzing or a tingling feeling. Your experience may be completely different. You might have noticed tension, perhaps in your shoulders, 
or in your hips or torso, you may have hot and cold sensation somewhere in your body, or you may actually feel some physical pain. What I'm going to ask you to do with this sensation next is to let that feeling in. Allow it into your presence. Instead of trying to shun it or push it away, I want you to breathe into that feeling as if, as if you're welcoming it in. The third step and final of this simple process is called grounding. In grounding, I want you to imagine that growing out from the soles of your feet are roots. And these roots go down through the floor. They go down through the bottom of the building into the earth. They continue to break through the soil and the rocks. Just picture this growing root as it shuns off branches and finally reaches the very center of the earth where it wraps around the core and anchors you and holds you in safely. All right, you can all now open your eyes. <laughs> You've all experienced a short little taste of mindfulness meditation. Now, if any of this resonated with you, I would really encourage you to want to try to do this. And you know what they say, if you want to learn something, it takes about 90 days to develop a habit. And that means practice, practice, practice. And to practice this, what I had to do was download an app on my phone that was an hourly chime so that every hour and on the hour I get a little beep and it reminds me to do this practice. Sometimes I can only do it for five minutes, sometimes I might be able to make 20 minutes to do this. But you can't expect it to work when you're at an eight or a nine level of anxiousness or panic. So the trick is practice this exercise when you are calmer because then you'll build these skills up and then be able to use them more when you reach these eight or nines. And with practice, you'll find that you won't be getting that nervous or, or tense. I have to say that some other things that you could do would be to use a chime on your watch or use your computer or you could also have a meditation buddy, somebody that would remind you to do it or you could remind them to do it. All this experience is, keeps you out of your head and more into your body. I spent 57 years not really experiencing my body, but now I have. How many years have you spent? Madam Contest Master? 